Good rising everyone. I uh, hope your night was uh, mm. good so far. And this is the real mat of uh, Kemet. And for now, I um, uh, want to talk about something uh, that is going on. It's about the curfew. Since the curfew were enacted or uh, they took effect, now it's the time for the policemen. They are everywhere, ransacking each and every place. They are forcibly free entering premises and they are just beating people ruthlessly. I did ask for the policemen to be humane and yet this, you can see them still beating people, insulting people so much, which is very, very, very shocking. Remember, like I said, this is to you, the policemen, that these people are your brothers and sisters. We all come from the same source. So we are very, very much connected. This is not all about tribal regime. But it's about our sisterhood and our brotherhood, our unity. Please be considerate because you are just crowbarring people. We have lost six people so far since the, this melee of the curfews started. And comparing the death the six deaths to the the so say death that is the two or three deaths to coronavirus. I don't know what number we will have after the this coronavirus melee happen when it's um, it's over. I don't know how many lives will our policemen would have costed because already we have lost six people to extrajudicial kiri to crowbarry beating uh ruthlessly without minding these are your brothers and sisters even if you are getting them from the pubs please be considerate They are humans too. This is the life they have. They were very, very much used, uh, used to. And disrupting them from the program they are programmed, it's so hard to cope. You have to bear in mind that these people, this is what they have to do. I know the life of the going to pubs at this time is kind of... Uh, hectic and kind of dangerous at this time but even uh, you the way you are handling these people like I saw this video in the one of the mainstream media frog marching people making them kneel and walk on their knees that is so inhumane that is why I'm saying all the human rights organizations which are there please it's your time it's your time because we cannot continue seeing such things with all, uh, happening to our people. It's so sad. It's so sad. When I saw this video of these people lying on the floor, and we all know people, our people have been struggling for 400 years. Most of them live for less than one dollar a day. So that means that if they don't go out and look for that money, it means that they won't have food on their table. I have confessed with the mamas who are kibadas. Um, they do have kibadas for selling their vegetables. 
and they are telling me that they are having wrong days because they have children in their home and whatever they get from that particular day is that is what they use to buy food and it's kind of very very hard for them so i would like the government or i would like to ask you mr uh, president uh, my president mr uhuru kenyatta please be considerate because uh, for now we can see what is rooming is the lockdown please be considerate uh, for the sake of our own people for the sake of those pregnant mothers they still need to attend their cream they still need to take their children to the hospitals also we have to be considerate also to the those people who are hiv positive they still have to get their own medicine we still have to be considerate to the people who are have uh, diabetes and also the high blood pressures those people who always take over the counter prescription that is they have to rely on this prescription day by day they still need it so uh, putting our country in a lockdown it will be very very disastrous for our people remember our people are still trapped in this uh, concrete jungle this is what where they have been calling your home and you are discouraging people to not to go up country and yet you are not offering food to them you don't even have anything to give them back so this is the time you should be telling people to move to up, uh, to up country with cautiousness so that whenever they are at their rural homes they have that shaba they can tell to their shaba instead of rocking them into the these concrete jab goes the rental houses it will be too disastrous for uh, something to go on uh, like a rock down in these uh, rental houses for one month it will be very very disastrous so be considerate about that and also also remember the these uh, rental houses they are owners they have uh, taken mortgages and loans in order to build these uh, rental houses so whenever you uh, the railroad and tenants association comes out this organization we haven't been seeing them for a very very long time this is the time they are coming out and they are telling that uh, the railroad to waiver the rent for three months how are they going to pre to repay their loans This is the time we should be coming together for our people, giving uh, our people rads so that they can build their own houses and do their farming. This is the time we should be taking all on security because security has been an issue in our country. This is the time we should be concentrating much on the agriculture sector, the health sector, because the health sector, over and over again, I have to say this, it's in a mess. There are so many things out there at stake if our country had to go on lockdown. I don't know what will happen. We did see a, co a patient, a patient who was in quarantine, just committing suicide and the quarantine is only for 14 days and she couldn't handle the loneliness so just think of how the situation will be if for one month people are locked in their own houses there is no way they are going to look for for that food uh, for their kids Remember, most of them are with their families here in the 
town centers. So we have to be very, very considerate. I don't rule that you there is things that you have done, Mr. President, that are still good, like uh, you have extended the repayment of loans. You have reduced the tax. This is very good. This is very, very good. When we need to see more coming. So this is the best time we should be coming together. This is not the time to get orders from whoever you are getting orders in order to just humiliate our people. This is the time we should be coming together. I'm talking to you, Kagame, the Rwandese president. There is a lockdown in your country. I'm talking you to you, Yoweri uh, Kaguta of Uganda. There is also a lockdown in your country. And we know all the policemen, how they brutalize people. They kill, they just crop up people without minding where that person was or the situation the person is or the condition the person is. So we have to be very, very mindful. Remember also our farmers are suffering. Like all they have gathered is just wasting and rotting in their own shabas. Remember even for those farmers, those who rear milk cows, like those milk cows, they, their work is only to eat and they need a lot of attention and care. And they have been sacrificing to take these cows for that milk in order for, for that milk to reach the person who is in the city. And it's kind of getting difficult because everything is becoming expensive. The fare, the bus fare, the matatu fare is, is, uh, is rising. So we have to be considered whenever they bring this... Uh, Vegetables in the city, they are rotting because there are no people to sell. And also the business are going down. So it's like we are getting a bro after another bro from erection. Uh, bro, now it's the coronavirus bro. It's the curfews bro and everything that is there. Just on uh, 1st April, Mr. President, you gave Breda and, uh, and a guy called Brian a chance to speak for the, themselves as the first coronavirus patient. And it turned out to be a hoax, a scam, Mr. President. At this time, the only thing that is in your mind is only the money that you are going to get from uh, World Bank in order to curb the coronavirus. This is the time we should be saying to such kind of money that is coming from our predecessors, those who have been uh, just humiliating us, enslaving us. This is the time we should be uh, coming together, building our Kenya again, because there is so much work to do on the ground. There is so much to do on the ground. So please be considerate. Don't put that lockdown in our country. And also the policemen, once again, please be humane. We still need each other. The way you are mishandling people, it's so, so much sickening, worse, and also scaring. 
what you are saying is the prevention of the coronavirus and the way you are just uh, crowbarring people into the boots of the cars, the private cars, like 10 people have to fit in a small car. It's so much, so much disturbing to see such uh, pictures. And also the sales, I know the sales, like you are just collecting people and putting them there. So this is, we are just preventing the coronavirus, but you are taking all the risk with the people there, putting them into a very small area with rest for ventilation, no, uh, dista no whatever they, they call the social distancing there. And also we know the sanitation in most of our cells, it's a major failure. People just defecate in buckets. So this is for you, the whoever is on the top of the police department, please look for your people, talk to your people. So I had to come and put this out because when I saw that video of our people lying down, so helpless, and then, then I saw this video in Kayore, they are just, the police are going uh, from door to door, arresting people. It was so sad. And also for you people, please stay in your own house with your own family. This is not the time you should be uh, reitering because you can see the way these people are. Please be considerate about that also for the sake of your welfare, for the sake of your safety. So let us all be sympathetic about uh, each other. We are brothers and sisters. This is our country. All of us, we are in this country. From those who are in the top to the rich people, the civilians. This is our country. We need to fight for our, for our people. Stay together, united, supporting each other. Protecting our children. The older people also. The street uh, family, they are still there. They don't have anywhere to go. So this is the time we should be working on how we can help each other, elevate each other, and build our country. So that is it. Don't forget to stay safe there and all the best for this uh, day.